N4 80 GTX. I bought this new 10 years back. Cost close to 500 pounds, but I was building a PC at the time and I thought I might as well get it. If you were to buy one of these today, you probably wouldn't get it new, no. You probably wouldn't get it new. You could pick it up on eBay though for about 40 to 50 pounds. Quite a difference in price. But when I was building a PC for which I bought this, I also bought a hard drive and that hard drive is about to be replaced. I should have stopped using that drive a long time ago. So now I'm gonna turn this light on and I'm also gonna turn off my PC. Right now though, I'm gonna unbox something. So this needs to come off of here. And also I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with this. Actually, what I could do is maybe use this inside of my old PC again. I'd have to put it all back together, but that way this is going to be used. Uh, but if I didn't do that, I don't know what I'd do with this. But yeah, anyway, on to the unboxing. Okay, Google, turn off the lights. Okay, turning off two lights. Right, okay, Google, why are you gay? Here are the top search results. Top search results. All right, found the video. Why are you gay? And here we have the box. So let's get straight to it and see what is inside. Ah! Just kidding. Every time I do that, somebody somewhere falls for it. Slice. Sl wow. All right, so there is the first thing. And there we have the second thing. That there on the cover is a picture of it. But that there is where it says on the front. Now, I've got one like this already in the PC. Now this one right here is six terabytes. All right, so I thought I'd unbox these right now because I sort of need to use these kind of sharpish. All right, let's take a look and see what this looks like, even though you can see it on the cover. And there it is. And there we have it. This hard drive I've had since the mid 2000s. In fact, if you look here, you can see the date on it. And that there is the size of it. 74.3 gigabytes. I've got SD cards that are bigger. So I've taken it out. The six terabyte hard drive I got to replace another one, which I thought may sort of be failing. As it turns out, I'm not too sure if it is failing or not. So I've left it inside and plugged in. And what I'm gonna do with this is probably open it up. And I'm doing that because I'm bored. There's nothing else to do right now. Lockdown is becoming a bit more, um, more locked down. So yeah. That's, that's another thing. Um, doesn't make a difference to me because I don't go out. Might as well turn on the regular light. That's already wanting to lift off. All right, all the screws are out. Let's take a look and see what we have. That doesn't want to open. Is there a screw? Ah, is that a screw? It is. Still doesn't want to open up. Wait, is there another one there? There is. Okay. All right, another one here. There is. All right, now it's coming off. There we are. Wow, that's small. And right here we can see the microphone in the reflection. And what else? That's the keyboard. And if I keep going this way, what do we see? My hand. That looks kind of weird. This is an air filter. Or at least that's what I'm told. Let's see if there's any dust on it. That's one side, it looks clean. And that is the other side. Looks like new to me. Now, what I actually want to take off of this hard drive are the magnets. And that screw was barely in. Let's take that off. Take this one off. Now? No. Take them out. I don't know why I thought this was holding it in. Taking the screws out of the back of it. And that wasn't even connected. See those contacts right there? They contact these. All right, so what is behind door number four? Ah, 
as it turns out, not much. And that is all these screws out. Okay, well this doesn't want to come out. All right, well it came off. And then out comes all of it. And here we have an aluminium ring. Aluminium, aluminium. Oh, that's an American trying to say aluminium. Al aluminium, Al aluminium, God damn it. And here we have the other part of the hard drive. And we also have some greasy fingerprints. Meant to throw that into the bin. I've got a bin in my room, hanging off of the wall. It's not a bin, it's just a black bag. Into which I throw garbage. Or anything I just want to throw at it, such as this. Like that. And I missed. And it's okay because it's by my feet so I can pick it up again. And try again. And I missed. But it's okay because it's by my feet again. Stop it. All right, enough of that. And more of this. I've kind of woken up a bit. I was a bit sleepy. Zombie mode. All right, so this is going to come apart. A Riker... A uh, Riker... Um, not sure. What I need is this. And with this, what I'm going to do is a bit of that. Wow, these magnets are strong. And that is why I wanted them. Okay, so now I can just use my fingers. Wow. All right, well, that's a titting around with over with. Now what? It's so amazing the way they don't just stick together like this, backwards. Are they magnets? Are they just pieces of metal? Obviously, they're not gonna stick this way around but I'm just saying, uh, if you do it this way around, they'll stick. But when you do it forwards, it's the end of the world when they join. Or for your fingers if they're getting away. Ooh, okay Google, turn the lights green. And off. This is me going beast mode or turning into the Hulk because I caught my fingers between them, which I didn't. But I'm just saying if I did, then, you know, this would happen automatically. Can you tell I'm bored? Pry them apart. Ooh, don't want to get your fingers caught between them. You're only really going to suffer like a low to medium amount of pain, really, I think. Like if they were any bigger, if they were, say, speaker magnets and you had two of them. First of all, don't put them together because good luck getting those apart. And second of all, you probably end up with uh, flat fingers. All right, well, anyway. I've actually got a cut on my finger, which I don't want to open up. It kind of stings. There's somebody walking around outside this room laughing. Laughing to herself because she's crazy. Turn the right light blue and the left light red. To be honest, that's a bit of a tongue twister if you think about it. See these colours. These colours are superhero colours. Think Superman. Think Spider-Man. Think... I don't think, that's up to you. Turn the left light blue and the right light red. That's how it was before. I'm not saying I'm a superhero, but I am bored. Ring, anybody? If you've got a skinny one, you can still use it. Kind of feel sorry for you though. And I think I might just take this apart too, because I don't use it. Maybe I could find use for that, but I doubt it. There's a button there, and these are buttons too. So maybe I could use those, but there's a switch on the back. I could probably use that. Other than that, I'm not too sure what else I could use. There's these and obviously those on the back. But yeah, when these came out, what would happen was after a short while, the LEDs on the screen would fail and mine has failed. I mean, it still works, but I don't have the system anymore. The only thing I do have is a sub. So yeah, just thought I'd share that. I've kind of woken up a bit. I was a bit, I was a bit, uh, 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 uh. and there we have Pancake. Say bye.